hi guys hey everyone okay so i am out here and i'm checking on you and also giving you some of those updates that i give you when i'm out here okay so of course though i just want to touch on the story of the um, the mec and the health and the patient i think most of us have been waiting to hear what the the government of uh, south africa state as position was pertaining to the issue after we had uh, a lot of other people you know responding you know we wanted to hear the official statement from the government of south africa and you need to wait no longer because the south african government issued a statement yesterday where they say they condemn they are condemning the acts of discrimination or victimization or anything towards uh, anyone who goes to the hospital seeking medical or health care okay so the, a lot of people have been wanting to know Kuti, what exactly was spoken and what happened there and everything. So, yes, the government of South Africa responded, okay? They say we condemn, you know, the prevention of access to health care, okay? And also they said we don't want anything to do with, you know, uh, color, nationality, race, whatever, to be the thing that is used to, to discriminate or to, to prevent people from having their health care. Even if someone is an illegal immigrant, they still have a right to health care, okay? They say this is what uh, the SADC, you know, um, agreements say pertaining to the issues of immigration or the people living in a certain country. So they say because South Africa is part of SADC, they also have to abide by that. And also by the state that, well, they understand the challenges. They understand the challenges that are faced by the health care. You know, how it's, uh, it's being strained because of a lack of resources and because of you know high demand from people they say that they also understand that but at the same time that cannot be you know uh used to push away people who come to seek medical you know uh <laughs> medical attention in the in the you know you know in hospitals or wherever they go to shake okay they also say that south africans should also learn to live with other africans in harmony because they are africans okay so they need to live with all africans in harmony so yeah so that's the statement it's an official statement from the government of south africa a lot of people have been wanting to hear oh what are they going to say what to say well we don't want any discrimination or anything because everyone has got rights you know they say healthcare is a basic human right and everyone in the country who is living in the country has got right or access or to have access to that okay so anyway i know people are going to be having some opinions about that but yeah it is what it is okay because now we saw the operation Dudula, people saying, well, they want to, to launch a nationwide uh, campaign where they're going to be stopping anyone who is undocumented from health, receiving health care in, in public uh, institutions. And also that uh, those who are documented and go to the hospital, they need to pay for their services. So they say they're going to be launching a, a nationwide program or campaign along that line, okay? Of saying everyone who goes to the hospital should pay if you're a foreigner you should pay if you're undocumented you have no access okay you cannot have access to the health care okay <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness so that's it guys that's it um yeah so but when i get home and i sit comfortably i'm going to share again with you the full details and and more other things that have been spoken along that uh that issue I'm going to give you more details because believe you me, there are more more things that have been said. So I'm going to be giving you all those stories again, okay? So let me just get uh, to where I am going first. Later on, I'll be able to update you guys on everything, okay? I know a lot of you, my friends, are going to be having opinion. I know <laughs> you will not like uh, all those utterances, I know, but yeah. Uh, it's not me who said it, okay? It's, it's the government of South Africa who said it. I'm just reporting on what has been said. And also I saw some people saying the issue of the Malawians that I shared was fake news. But I don't know, I don't think it's fake news because I've seen it being shared by mainstream media, okay? One thing about mainstream media is that they verify, okay, before they share a story. So I am very certain that the story is not really fake. But a lot of people say, ah, Ziki, you're sharing fake news. But uh, that is why I'm saying, I, I beg to say, no, man, it's not fake news. Because I believe, in fact, I don't believe, I know. Mainstream media, they verify, okay? 